back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. And thank you for joining me for another Friday Mommy Moments. Wait right there. You do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment. I'm Ivy. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. The first thing that we do on here is Friday shout outs. So let's get right to it. Today's shout out is going to the G fam. I wanna shout you guys out for always coming through and supporting our channel. It's been months now and I still, every time I look through the comments, I can see a genuine comment, genuine encouragement, and I definitely appreciate y'all push. I definitely appreciate how you guys strive to be awesome parents. You're always mentioning your mom and how you can find healthy things for your mom. And I appreciate your family just being involved in the YouTube community and trying to be a positive light. So I wanted to shout you guys out. You guys, if you don't know the G fam, head on over there. Let them know that Ivy said, what's up? It ain't nothing but a G fam, baby. It ain't nothing but a G fam, baby. I think I, I think I said it right. All right, let's get to this Friday mommy moment topic, shall we? Yes, we shall. Okay, I'm not gonna be nervous. I'm gonna just say what it is, okay? Well, when I was about, I wanna say 10 or 11, cause I really don't know for sure. I asked my mom, she was like, um, she think I was Ivy's age. So baby Ivy is 10. So I'm gonna say 10 or 11. When I was 10 or 11, I choked. And when I say choke, I don't mean <laughs> I mean, I choked on watermelon and I couldn't breathe. My mom did not know the Heimlich maneuver. I don't know how long I couldn't breathe, but to me, it felt like forever. And it was one of the scariest parts of my life. I had a lot of scary moments, but this would be one of the top five. And I remember my mom didn't know the Heimlich maneuver and I wasn't getting oxygen. And she had to put me over a chair, right? And once she put me over the chair and like started like ramming the chair into my abdominal, area the watermelon came back up a lot of people was like how did you choke on a watermelon like how did you well what happened was me being a child that i am and me being greedy like i was um i already had one piece in my mouth and i'm eating really fast and forgot to chew the piece that was in my mouth already and put another piece in and it slipped down and it got stuck in my throat that was very very scary for me it was so scary for me that i stopped eating I would go to the table and I would chew my food and I would spit my food into paper towels or I would continue to go to the bathroom and my mom didn't notice. Anybody who I was around, they really didn't notice. For a while, I was not eating. One day, I was getting dressed and I was getting ready to go to school and my mom walked in the bathroom on me and she freaked out um, and she took me straight to the hospital. And you can see my bones, You she realized that something was wrong with me, I wasn't eating. So I went to the hospital um, and I told them I stopped eating when I choked. My mom couldn't believe that I had not eaten for that long. And um, my mom's a single mom and very, you know, busy and things like that. So before everybody stopped, I'm like, how can your mom not notice that she was eating? Everybody um, grows up different. Let me just say that. Um, but anyways, after that, um, I still wouldn't eat. I wouldn't eat food. Um, my mom would make jello or buy like applesauce and things like that, things that I didn't have to chew. But you guys, um, for years, I didn't eat properly. And people who ate around me, they noticed it. Like I would chew and I would try to swallow my food, but I just couldn't bring myself to swallow food. Like if I, I would think that I had chewed it and swallowed it and then bring it back up because I was scared that I was gonna choke. Like, it's really bad. Um, can't believe I'm sharing this with you guys, but I am. I have a point to all sharing this with you. Um, even when I would be around my family, they would make fun of me and be like, why are you always, they're like, yo, especially my nephew Giovanni. If you watching this, my nephew Giovanni, he's the one who picked up on it. When I would swallow, I would do this. I would do that, like, stretch out my neck. Sometimes I still do it to this day, like, un subconsciously not knowing not thinking about choking at all but just um it was such a habit for years for years and when I say years when I met my husband I was still not eating properly I would only eat cereal uh stuff that dissolves quickly you know um or if I did eat food food it would take forever for me to eat it and I wouldn't finish it and 
it would get to the point that I would just throw the rest of the food away. I would never finish my food. When I met my husband, he noticed like I didn't, I, I wouldn't finish my food. So I eventually had to tell him, hey, um, let me just tell you something because I, I was growing close to him and at the time he was my best friend. He's my husband's best friend now. But um, I had to tell him like, I have a problem with eating and this is what happened and this is why I don't eat the way that, I, that I'm supposed to. I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to choke. So you had a person who choked at 10 or 11 and now I am, I met my husband when I was 23. We got married when I was 25. I started going to counseling when I was 25 as well. Um, I would say that I didn't start eating properly until I was about 28, 29. I know that's crazy. I know that's crazy. I know, it might sound weird, but I'm, that's just what it is. Um, that's a long time to go through fear like every time you eat, you know? Sometimes I would wait and be like, oh, I'm not hungry. So even when we would go out with people, they'd be like, Ivy, what's wrong, you not eating? I'm like, oh no, I'm gonna just take mine to go, take mine to go, because I knew every time I would sit down and eat with somebody, I'm not gonna finish my food. It, it would take me too long because I chew it and 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 I chew it. You guys, that is a long time to be fearing choking. And you know, since that time that I choked, I never choked again. But because that fear was embedded in me from choking and not being able to breathe, I always thought that that would happen again. And I bring this all up to say, things from our past that has brought us harm or that have hurt us or that have put us in a weird space can affect us more than we know that it's affecting us. And we might think that, oh, we're over it, we're cool, we're, we're good, even after, my mom took me to the hospital and things like that. Still wasn't eating properly. Even growing up, going to school, going through different programs, still wasn't eating properly. Meeting my husband, getting married, having children, I still was afraid that I was going to choke. I wish my husband was here because sometimes I would swallow the food and the food is down. I'm talking just like this and I would think that I am choking. Like, I, like I, don't, I don't think I chewed it right. He'll be like, babe, he'll hold my hand and he'll be like, babe, you're breathing, you're talking, it digested, it's okay. <sighs> I am so, when I, when I look at my life and when I think about my life, I am so thankful that God put my husband in my life because the things that I had to overcome, the things that I had to still fight and face Today, if I didn't have a husband who loved God more than me, there's a lot of things that I wouldn't be able to make it through because God knew what I needed. God knows what I need right now. And God knows I need a man of God. Because every time I'm faced with something, fear or whatever brain comes back from the past or whatever it is, my husband holds my hand and he prays for me. He prays with me. And I want to let you guys know today, take a look at your life. Take a look at your day. Is there anything that you are battling with consistently, whether it be subconsciously or you're knowingly doing it? I would like you to take the time to deal with it. I would like you to take the time to not be like me and take it before God and tell God to take that burden, that fear, whatever it is that you have that you are constantly battling every day and say, God, help me with this load because I can't do it by myself. And I couldn't face that by myself. Not only was God there, but he also sent my husband to help me along the way. Somebody that I could say, hey, I know it might sound crazy, but I'm afraid of choking because I choked when I was a child. Whatever it is that's embedded in you, that you don't want that no more, that you're tired of waking up in the morning dealing with this, you're tired of dealing with every single day, it's knocking at your door. I encourage you to take it before God. I encourage you, if you don't believe like I believe, I encourage you to take it to a friend or to ask somebody for help. I would encourage that because I don't want you to stunt your growth. I don't want you to add more to your plate that you already have. So I hope that today, what I shared with you, that's so personal and embarrassing, that it was able to get to you and help you if this video is for you. Whenever I say what God has put on my heart, I never know who it's for. I never know what it's for, or what it's gonna do, or if anybody is going to receive from it. But I know that I feel amazing and I feel like God is working in me whenever I come and I share with you guys. 
So today that's what I wanted to come and share a piece of me with you. And I hope that it gets you through. But just know that you're not alone in this world. So until next time, you guys, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be who? Continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you're not feeling needed, know here on the Soren Seward Family Channel, you are needed. Peace out, great people. Lord willing, see you next Friday. Thank you.